Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today we're going to be doing our um, magical side by side. Here we go. Oh, for January 2020. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a long day. I just got done doing a whole bunch of really intense pharmacology homework. <laughs> and um, lots of other stuff. So let's start. Uh, we're going to briefly go through each of the boxes and I'm going to show you them side by side, do a little blurb, um, give you any updates, and um, that'll be it. Uh, now to the first box. This is the witch's box. Um, this uh, usually on the screen it'll, it's going to say the price per month. Um, this was actually my last box for this um, box just because I don't feel like I have the time I want in my life to dedicate to like doing rituals and um, going to the deep dive gathering and uh, it's, a, it's a really beautiful box and I am still crazy about Elena. And I highly recommend her YouTube channel to you because she she reviews some amazing books. I'm just um, not there right now. And I think I might try again in the summer when I take a term off. Uh, but let's look at it. Very beautiful. I love the stickers. I love the, um, the uh, amount and quality. So I did not love this. Let me tell you what. Did not love that. Uh, but that's, I think, at random, so it's the luck of the draw. This box was about runes, um, and has a very nice detailed, um, about each rune and what they mean, the different, um, like, uh, world steads on the altar cloth, and then, um, like a Materia Medica book of shadow page on each of the herbs that they included in this box they give you a hefty amount of herbs uh she does she's not going to put them in jars anymore from what i've heard on her channel she's trying to be a little bit more like environmentally conscious so uh but there'll be bigger bags of herbs just not jars um so this is the uh rune cloth very beautiful very nice um that came with it so that's really cool this is the bag these are runes written on bones which is pretty cool my preferred thing I talked a little bit about bones um, they feel very nice I like them quite a bit I what I like about these boxes is like Elena intends for you to really like um, dive in and get familiar and potentially find something that is just like that resonates deeply with you. At least that's what I'm getting at her intention is. So she's she's not necessarily about like scratching the surface. Um, she her boxes are intended for you to find like deep spiritual connections, um, deep magical connections. I really appreciate the depth. Um, that she goes to. Shikari root. I feel like this box doesn't do anything by half measures. Mm, peppermint herb. Herbs are intensely fragrant and very fresh and beautiful. The jars are hefty. Large amount of herbs. Um, Futhark. So, um, there has, and you know, some of the feedback I've gotten has been about the price of this box. In my opinion, um, it is it is worth it, uh, just because I feel like the quality is is very very good. Uh, for, in my opinion, of course, obviously this video is my opinion. You're entitled to yours. Make your own video. Um, the the items are really high quality. The box is really um, intensely thought about and uh, and very cohesive. And and there's this other part that you get to connect with people about the box in a forum and in a live deep dive gathering um, that's really really like for those of us who don't have that kind of connection is very nice and kind of like one of the things that I actually crave which is one of the reasons why I watch so many of your unboxings of my other boxes as well 
because like I want to enjoy the same box with other people who also got the box and she actually has a set area to facilitate that so that you guys can enjoy it and also dive deeply into it to really get into the topic. I just don't have that kind of time at this point in my life to really dive in the way that I want to. So it's definitely something I'm going to be coming back to. Um, I still recommend it to you guys um, if you have the time or if it, if it seems valuable to you. And uh, let's move on to the next box. This is my sacred space crate uh, for January. Um, Melissa is an amazing an amazing witch. Very cool, very talented, very nice objects, very cohesive theme. I love the moon calendar with all the different moon and the zodiac information. As above, so below was a theme. Very detailed and extensive um, insert. Love that. Okay, this one was really Hmm, we got our incense here. We got our face serum. She always includes a beauty product, which is like her special touch. We've got a beautiful full moon offering full of pretty pretties and lovelies that you would associate with the full pregnant belly of La Luna. Yes! The medicine is always my favorite drying down the moon candle and of course if you want a deeper look at any of this please go to the actual video for this unboxing this is just a very brief um, recap a beautiful piece of a meteorite a beautiful opalite bracelet which I love opalite I absolutely love opalite or maybe it's moonstone I'll have to double check it looks like opalite but it might be moonstone A little jewelry. The necklace. A beautiful stone. A beautiful feathered offering dish. Certificate of Authenticity for the um, Meteorite piece. And um, this beauty and stand. Absolutely lovely. Very, very beautiful. I love this box. I love this witch. She's amazing. Check her out. Um, totally, totally worth every penny. Um, there's a lot in here. There's a lot of value. She's got a really good thing going. Check her out. Melissa, Sacred Space Freight. It's really good. Now to the next one. Here is my lovely Witch's Moon box for January. I love the Witch's Moon. I get every single one of their boxes. Um, a longtime subscriber, Bridges Flame. I love this card. I love this deck. Very, very cool. This is the spell for the candle. Beautiful, beautiful Wheel of the Year art. Bridget art. The spritzer part of the spray. <gasps> a box so beautiful a box so beautiful so so beautiful <laughs> can you tell I love boxes baskets and boxes and baskets and pretty pretties jasmine flame moss tiger's eye a little box full of magic all the things that a box should be all spice Bay leaf. Um, it's like a Bridget's Anvil. It's an anvil with a triquetra. Very cool, very, very, very cool. 
pretty pretty Libertas bath salts. Again, if you want a more detailed view of this box, you got to go check out the video on the unboxing on my channel. They're very detailed. Beautiful spray. And a beautiful stone. Pretty, pretty. This is a really nice box. I'm not super into in bulk, but you know, I'm connecting more. A Bridget oil. Incense. Some big delicious cinnamons. I love it. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. A beautiful red candle. And, uh, do I have a thinking of a different candle. So as always, this is the Witch's Moon Box. Um, in my opinion, it's very consistent and lovely uh, with tons of beautiful items every month. Uh, and that's why I keep getting it. So um, definitely check it out. And uh, let's move to the next one. I'm going to do all the witches um, moon boxes in order. So this is the witches roots for January. I absolutely love this box. This box is a steal of a deal. I've gotten every single one they've ever made. And I love them. Very, very good. Oh my god. This lucky hand root is so cute. Look at that. Little baby Yoda claw. So precious. I love the hoodoo feel of this box. I absolutely, I absolutely love this. I, so I myself more lean towards uh, um, <clears throat> more um, like um, hmm, I'm starting to lean more towards uh, like Afro-Caribbean and Puerto Rican uh, types of magic as opposed to like I'm not really into Celtic or Norse. <clears throat> Look at this luscious, luscious goddess. Mm -hmm. She's looking good. Nice little green candle for prosperity. And uh, I really like the hoodoo feel. I really like um, the cunning woman feel of of um, of it. Because I'm I'm not particularly into connecting with deity or deity. At least not in that way. I mean, long story short, I love, love, love this box in general. But this one particularly was very cool for me because I love the hoodoo feel. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but it's very much the vibe that I got. Um, and I freaking love it. So, let's look at uh, the last offering from the Witch's Moon. Which is the next box. Here's the Witch's Bounty Box. Um, this is the only box that I get gifted to me. It's from the Witch's Moon. Um, it is their top tier box. I'm super blessed and grateful to them for gifting this to me. This particular month was amazing. They've all been really good. But I really, really resonated with um, the, the power and the meaning of the stone. I really did. That's one of my favorite things about how the synchronicities line up to make these you get exactly what you need at the right time it feels like this smells amazing it's got a very spicy scent and I'm, I love it this is a big beautiful carnelian this is a carnelian just like I had suspected this is a beautiful red candle beautiful brown um, oops, there's the incense Um, and here it is. It's a cherry quartz. So beautiful. The garnet. Isn't that lovely? So beautiful. So, so lovely. I love, um, how each box has, um, 
very similar type items but with a very different theme so um, each of these has an oil um, an incense a crystal a candle um, an artwork so the difference is like this is obviously sacred accoutrements um, the witch's roots is obviously herbs and the witch's moon varies but it's ritual tools typically um, ritual tools and, and other uh, things for uh, your practice so um, let's go to the next box this is my sugar muses box uh, for the month of January another amazing beautiful box this one had a really unique feel this month um, it really didn't focus on a goddess it focused on a god and I really dig that uh, variation it's it's not super common I mean I do see it occasionally but this was just like well I mean for the most part I think of um, the goddess in, in her roles in each of the Sabbaths but really the Sabbaths are the journey in my opinion this is my belief. The Sabbaths are the journey of the sun, whereas the Esbaths are the journey of the of the moon. So the male journey versus the female journey, in my personal opinion, or the receptive versus the directive, or whatever you want to call it. The yin and the yang. This was a beautiful box. I really like the box. I really like the smell. Beautiful raven. Um, oh, there's the mm, yum 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 incense, just delicious smelling. I'm, I'm going to confess to you guys that I'm a little bit, I love my boxes and I'm looking forward to them, but... I seriously considered skipping February for all my boxes just because I know I'm going to get a million fucking rose scented and love themed items. <laughs> but we'll see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this beauty. It's got a little stand. It's very cool. It's a very nice. Um, this is beautiful. Very nice uh, mirror. Odin oils, my first ever, well not my first ever, but I think one of my very, very few god oils, ritual oils. Got a beautiful amber, wish you could see, like, the, the see-through, it's really very light. We got some lip balm, cool. We got some rooibos tea, cool. My little spoon. Cool. Botanical offering. It's full of herbs. I'm not going to open that. So, I love Sugar Muses. Um, and I never get tired of getting both Sugar Muses and Witch's Moon because they have decidedly different feels in my, um, I would say humble opinion. But honestly, after getting like nearly two years of these boxes, I'm pretty going to say that I have a very informed opinion. And they definitely have, every single box here has a different feel. Even the different boxes in, that each of these companies offers, they, they all have different feels with the exception of, I cannot speak with 100% certainty to the ones that I do not get. Uh, but I can speak with 100% certainty about the Witch's Moon uh, as I get each of their boxes. So let's check out the other offering by Sugar Muses. This is my Midnight Muse box, and this is another box that's newer, but I love a lot. I like all the contents, I really do. This is beautiful. I absolutely love the look of this tarot deck. It's very, like, stark and simple. Very cool. I love these! Card. Theme is the Dark Moon, so I love the moon. I'm very excited. Let's pull this out. So we got Yogi Tea, which is like cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, and black pepper, so that sounds dank. Got a tea bag. 
We've got a beautiful dark moon candle. That's really cool. I love the way that it's, it's going to melt into like a different moon piece. So that's pretty cool. We've got delicious incense. What do we got here? Oh, I love these dang coins. I've got a whole bunch of them from these. I'm going to put them in a pretty, pretty box and keep them forever like a little troll under a bridge. Love it. Did you guys know that your girl's a hoarder? Probably suspected it. Although I'm fixing to have a witchy yard sale here because my hoard is getting unmanageable. And the other people who live with me, namely my husband, are not super fond of the way that it's spread everywhere. So, c'est la vie. And of course I'll have my 900 subscriber giveaway soon. So, I'm just briefly going through these boxes. If you want a more detailed view, you must go to that um, video on my channel. These are all the most recent months. Dark Moon Ritual Oil. And so they are very easy, easily uh, pulled up. And honestly, if you're interested in the box, girl, boy, human, non-binary, whatever you are, go back and, and search through my channel and watch all of that thing. It shouldn't be very challenging to find. This beautiful box. I love when they have a little moss on the bottom. I just love that. I love that. Oh! Okay. <laughs> mm, this beautiful black moonstone. I, I've never gotten one before and I'm super, super psyched about it. It's so pretty, pretty. It's so pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um. Alright. So, <clears throat> that is my other offering from Sugar Muses. Let's go to the next box. Alright, this here is my Weevolve box for, oops, sorry. Weevolve box for January. This is an every other month box. She tells you the theme in advance so you know what you're getting into. And this one was particularly good. I mean, like, a favorite. And I'm not even super big on tarot, which was the theme, but I feel like she does a really good job. This is Lilani, by the way. Um, does a really good job of um, really enveloping this theme and really doing a depth dive for uh, this theme. Very, very cool. Droop sticks. Beautiful pen. Little snake. Some Florida Waller. Yes! I needed it. I wanted it. I put my self out into the universe and it came. I got this brand new deck. Modern Witch. Oops, sorry. What the hell am I doing? The Modern Witch Tarot. I've seen um, she um, a Kaylee Sunflower. If you guys are um, if you are subscribed to B or if you're not subscribed to her, check it out. She does really nice. A lot of my friends do nice tarot um, deck reviews, uh, but Akali Sunflower is the first one I know to do this one. And also, um, this deck is all female, which is odd, because obviously there's masculine and feminine in the traditional Rider Waite tarot. Um, but what I really like about it is it's got a lot of people of color, and I feel, as a person of color, I often feel completely unrepresented. There is not enough brujas in any kind of witch <laughs> community, aesthetic, um, divination. None of it is really, like, for us when a lot of it comes from us. Um, so efforts in this direction are really, really, really important and meaningful for me. Um, end of rant beautiful selenite stick. I'm telling you, this box was a gem. A straight up winner winner chicken dinner. This beautiful book to um, jot your notes in, your tarot notes. I mean, this one, to me, hit it out of the park. This beautiful art is also the insert. So, uh, check your girl Lilani out. She is legit. She is good. Uh, she has good quality products. She has very thoughtful themes. 
she tells you the themes in advance so like if you are not down with the theme you don't buy that box and then you save yourself the trouble and the money and the disappointment of having a box with items that that uh, don't resonate with you and I really really appreciate that she's not the only one who tells you the themes but she does give you some heavy spoilers in advance so you're like oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna order that um so I really really appreciate that and if you don't like this like in um October it was all um divination and I had so much divination at that point because a lot of the boxes have similar themes different expressions because they're all different people but similar themes and I was saturated so I said you know no I don't want that this month I held it and then I just got this box you can just hold it so very very good I love we've all check out Lilani let's look at the next box last but not least this is my witchcraft way box um I like this box some other people are squawking about it that's their opinion this is my opinion I like this box granted I subscribed right when they started advertising, so I get this box cheaper than I think some other people do. Somebody was saying it's like $50. I do not pay that. Um, but what I like about this box is it's always got useful practical items that I can use literally everything in the box. And, and maybe it doesn't have... I don't know what people think it doesn't have. I think it's great. So here we go. Insert. Items. This is my girl Marie from Anita Apothecary. She's going to have a box coming out soon. It's going to be Magical Garden. You better get on with that because she is legit. We got some beautiful black salt. What I like too is that they're doing all different witches. You're supporting all these different witches with their little small productions. Um, granted, all of these boxes are small, loving, handmade um, productions. Um, or and not maybe not handmade obviously the other one didn't make the tarot deck but you know what I'm saying lunar intuition oil very cool so this is an incense making kit which is super cool and um, this beautiful candle uh, which is like uh, like all the ingredients are on the outside so that's pretty cool actually I'll, I'll leave it out so that you can see it when I do the, the full side by side and also so that you can know which witch made this so this is the red witch apothecary um, I love all the light moons I should just make a huge collection because y'all know your girl's a little magpie over here and then these little patches this is a moon patch. Isn't that really cool? Man, it's beautiful. It's a patch of the tarot card, the moon. And it's made by the Pretty Cult. So, all banging items, in my opinion. Um, useful, pretty, unique. I tell you what, I have not gotten um, some of these items in any other boxes, period. Full stop. Except for this one, obviously, because I get a lot of the neat apothecary boxes. Um, but I definitely am digging it. Um, definitely check it out. I Every time that I make these videos, when I go through and I edit, I add the price. Uh, so you will know what it is, because I honestly don't know offhand. And uh, let's look at everything side by side and see what we got. All right, guys, here's my month of magic. Um, I like to show you guys everything side by side because I think a lot of times it's really hard to decide what you're going to buy. This is my same spiel that I give every time. Forgive the messiness of my desk. It's been a long day. But what I'm basically saying is this is not to say that this is better than this is better than this. I'm not saying that. Everything is good in its own way. And for each individual person, different things are going to resonate uh, more or less with you. So... That's the witch's box. This is the sacred space crate. This is all the witch's moon. Witch's moon box. The witch's roots. The witch's bounty. Different themes. So this is sacred accoutrement. Herbals. And this is more of a general uh, ritual tools. This is the sugar muses. This is deluxe muse. This is uh, midnight muses. Um, 
Weevolve Esoteric Box, and this is the Witchcraft Way. So, um, let me just say this box, this Witch's Box, is the same as this box, and then price wise. And then this box, this box, this box, this box are the same price, except for this one's every other month, and those three are monthly. Um, this box and this box are about the same price. This one has shipping included, and this this one has, which is Roots has shipping included, and this one is the same price, but you have to add shipping. And then this one um, is somewhere between the price of this and the price of this, but still very good. They all have different themes, they all have different feels, they all have different um, expressions, obviously. Uh, for the most part, this company tells you the theme in advance, this company tells you the theme in advance, this company tells you the theme in advance, I believe this one does too. Um, not so much Sugar Muses. Um, anything else I can think of that might help you make your decision. Um, this is Lilani. I don't know the Witchcraft Way people yet. This is Christy. This is uh, the, the only name that I know is Nicole, and they're wonderful. This is Melissa, and this is Elena. Elena has a YouTube channel. Check it out, because even if you don't want her box, she's got a lot of amazing things to say. She's a witch of color, and you should be exposed to wonderful different types of witches, and she is amazing. She has witch booktube, and if you wanted to buy all the books, but you can't, <laughs> she will buy all the books and read them and then tell you which ones are amazing. I love this one because of the the magical medicine. I love all of these for different reasons. I love all of this for different reasons. This one's great for the flexibility. And this one's practical. I, I really like it. I love them all. Those are my spiels. So if you have any questions for me about which one to choose, this is the closest to an answer I'm going to get because I'm not you. So this is the best I can do. I have experience with other boxes as well. Um, but these are the ones that I'm currently getting. Except for the witch's box, I'm, I've stopped that for right now. Anyways, love you guys so much. My 900 subscriber giveaway is coming up. I've kind of held off on it a little bit, and I might still hold off on it a little bit. Because the way that I've been fluctuating so dramatically on YouTube is that sometimes I am well over 900, and sometimes I'm not. <laughs> And so I would hate to <laughs> do a 900 subscriber giveaway and not actually have 900 subscribers. So there is that. Anyways, guys, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful to have you guys watching me. Um, thank you so much for your continued support. As always, please like, comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you know somebody who might like this content, have them come over and subscribe. Join our little happy family. Um, I am so grateful. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.